Hey guys, Tech Ethic here, and as you can see, my battery is low for some reason. So, anyway, uh, today I have a video for you guys. This is my home screen, and you know, after a while, stock Android gets kind of you know bleh. And I'm on, actually I'm on Android. I'm on Android 6.0.1. As you can see, since it's the Nexus 7, I'm still having to use this menu button here, and it doesn't have the white pop up for the app drawer. So I went ahead and installed this app. Total Launcher right here. It's called Total Launcher, and here it is. Total Launcher, developed by C H Y K. Check, I guess. But there's images and stuff. So I ha went ahead and installed that. That's what you need to install. And then after you install Total Launcher, you can go over to your settings wherever you have that. Since I have so many apps, you can go home and. That's what um, Total Launcher. But first of all, I want to show you this Google Now Launcher. This is kind of like an Android 6. So right now I'm going to select Google Now and press the Home button. And as you can see, see, when you swipe over to the left, there's Google. It's right there. And all this has already popped up. See, when I press the Home menu button, I get this my whole list of apps, which is very nice because I like the uh, smooth smooth transitions going on here. When you also open open up an app, it opens up from where it originates from. So let's see, and it came right out of the the app. So I think that's kind of cool. Now uh, I also downloaded this other app here. Let's see, I don't see it here. Let's see if I can find it. Okay. And I've also downloaded this Star Trek Renegades thing. And here we go. It's called the Renegades Elcar, um, Elcars, I think. You just type in Star Trek Launcher. You can just go in it. It should be right here. I went ahead and installed that. As you can see, whoa, look at that. Doesn't that look awesome? And it is free. I downloaded it as of 1616. Happy New Year. Um, so let's go ahead and let's go into that. So let's go over to settings and let's go to home so we can customize the launchers and total launcher. I'll set that up, but first I want to keep it on this launcher and show you what I've done. On the total launcher, as you can see, this is what is popping up here. All right, so I'm just going to go back home because I've already set the Renegades. It's pretty simple to do. You just download the Renegades and you download the Total Launcher and then you just open it open it up and then you can come over here to settings. You can customize it easy. You go to your home and Total la um, Total Launcher. Now when I press home you'll see everything transitions and you'll see in the background that it's not it doesn't look very good. So I'm going to go back to settings. You don't have to do this but I'm just going to do it for you guys so it's easier. Anywhere on the home screen, preferably in the middle, because I find it usually works best like that. So I'm just going to tap and hold wallpapers. And as you can see, I've already downloaded this wallpaper. It's You'll see it here. It's United Federation of Planets. And I was like, okay, now that's pretty cool. And now it's Star Trek. So now when you go into here, and you go over to settings, you go home, and you total launcher, and you press home. Wow, look at that. United Federation of Planets is on the bottom. And then you have everything pop up. And of course, you can make this an all black background if you just hold wallpaper. And um, it doesn't seem to be on here. So I, I'll, I'll show you guys how to do that and right here. Okay, I'm back in the regular stock launcher. But hold on the screen, go to wallpapers, and I'll go over to color and mood. Now, settings. You can just scroll through, decoration is on, objects are on, color gradient, um, that, mood light, change every six minutes, that's off, color, I've set that to black, so it's only black, so that way it doesn't change, interactive and surprise me, I'll turn that off, actually I'll turn that off too, turn off decoration, yep, in order to turn off objects you have to turn on that, now it's pure black, now let's go back. Let's set wallpaper. Okay, then when we go back into the launcher, let's set that up again. Total launcher. We'll go home. Now it's black, and you can see everything. 
But when you, of course, swipe to the sides, you don't really see. It's just black. So that's why I, I like this wallpaper here. I'll go ahead and add it. Oops, I gotta. I clicked on the wrong wallpaper tab here. Let's make sure I click on the right one. Google. I'll set wallpaper. Okay. And here we go. Just so that way, when you swipe, swipe to the side and you set your tablet down or something, you can leave it on this screen and it looks like, boy, doesn't that look cool. So that way, when you come on, you can see my little cursor. You just swipe over. And of course, that works on this side too. You can swipe it over and then boom, your thing is loaded up. Now I'll go ahead and showcase this really quick. Uh, let's see. Up here in the top, you have utilities. You can see my little mouse cursor. We'll go ahead and click on that. Let's see. I can turn it up for you guys so you guys can hear it. Let's go back home. Let's hear that? That's pretty cool. It has Star Trek sound effects all as well. Let's click on utilities again so you can hear it. Now that is just awesome. And then up here on the top, you see where my mouse cursor is. You can click there or you can click right here for to get out. There we go. And all these are clickable. You click power and it comes to your battery. See, I have 10% approximately 45 minutes, and I think that's long enough to make a video. You click on Wi-Fi, and it brings you to your current Wi-Fi address. You click on Signal for data usage, and that's just awesome, because with this app, you click on Signal, you can actually see what your data status on this long bar is. So you can check your Signal, and I find that really nice. There's a temperature, 80.8. .8. Now, it's not 80 in this room, so I guess that's the tablet temperature. So you can see my CPU RAM. My, um, well, actually, I don't know what the CPU is. Maybe that's temperature. I'm not sure. But you can also see the RAM here. Um, also, over here on the bottom, you have camera. I won't click on that because, you know, ha, you know what a camera is. When you click on LED, it pops up a white screen, which is really nice. So if you use this launcher, you don't have to go through your apps and search for your flashlight. You just, boom, click on LED because when you click home, it's right there. You click on that, and you can shine it around. Now, over here, there's a calendar app. And that takes you to your calendar app. I won't let you see my calendar. But they also have up here, if you click on those little buttons too, it also takes you to your calendar. And it reminds you how many days is Martin Luther King, King Jr. Day. When you text, it'll take you to your preferred texting app. Mine is Hangouts. Gmail. It'll take you to Gmail. Let's see. When you call somebody, it'll take you to the preferred calling app. Um, I, have, I have set this up on my phone. Um, but I don't. I'm not my phone, but a friend's phone, and it will take you to the um, call call app for on your phone because it automatically senses where that is. But I don't have one set up, so and I don't want to call on my tablet anyway. Notifications, it automatically swipes down your notification bar. You just swipe that back up. I think that's really cool. And hear the sound effect. I'm gonna do this again. That is cool. Um, yep, now there's contacts here, and there's a contact list. I have not been able to get this to work yet. Of course, if you swipe down, then it goes slow again. I have not been able to get this to work. I've done add, um, but what, when I get it to work, I'll post a video and show you guys how to do that in the future. Okay, let's go back home. I find it too difficult, because some phones have the um, manual um, touch buttons on there without having to swipe up like I have to press the home button and having to press these little icon things up here. When you press that, it still makes the sound effect. But of course, I'm still on it, so. There's comms. And look at that. Whole list, a nice sound. Here's Google Hangouts, Google Plus, Twitter, email, internet. Um, oh, I can't remember what VS is. SMS, texting, Instagram, Google Page, uh, I think that's, no, that's Facebook Pages, Facebook and Facebook Messenger. Chrome, Gmail, Skype, Twitter, Hangouts, Google Plus, Contacts, Contacts, Dial, Skype. Let's go to my dial, and it should bring up Hangouts Dialer. And as you can see, I just press it right here, and I can start punching in numbers. Which is awesome, because I can get right into calling somebody. And as you can see, Gmail, there is a, there is a notification number right there, which is really cool. VS. Oh. That's vo uh, voice. Oh, I can't remember what that is. Can't open microphone. Is that because it's being used? Uh, I don't. Oh, yes, it's using it for the recording. But when you click VS, 
See, it says I can't open microphone because it's being used for the recording. That's priority. Um, when you click that, you should be able to do voice commands. Let's see. Let's go back home. See, it made the sound. And then we'll uh, continue. Let's see what else is there. Uh, up here, device. You can see you can click. Oh, I just went out of that. Okay, you can click device. And here's all your devices. You click this up here at the top left, and it shows your data usage. You can turn on your you can turn on your GPS, turn on your Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi tethering, backlight, ringtone, Bluetooth, and sorry for that. I just had to pause for a second. You probably didn't notice that. Anyway, you can turn on and off Bluetooth here. Um, ring, which will silence. As you can see, my my top thing came up, came down like that. See, it came down automatically. But that just, when you do that, like when I press my volume rocker, see? And right now it says alarms only. It says to do not disturb. I'm going to go ahead and click that again. Okay, well, it's not working for me. Usually it does work. Okay, there we go. But see? So that was just, that's just a quick way to mute it in backlight. That turns auto backlight on, so if it becomes dark, then it'll bring it up. But if I turn that back off, then it'll become brightness for you guys. Here we go. Here's memory core. Here's apps. Of course, it brings you to the app drawer because you can swipe left and right and see what the RAM is running on here. I believe so, but I know I've done it before. Uh, show system. Oh, okay. Anyway, that's kind of cool. Now, let's go up to... Oh, that's what happens when you click device. You can exit out of that tab up here. Device. Kind of makes a Windows closing sound. Let's go into utilities. As you can see, we're in utilities. TripAdvisor, Compass, Maps, Earth Street View, and GPS. This will turn on the GPS. This will take you to Google Earth, Google Maps, Google Street View, and all that. Which is awesome because you have your map set up right here. This is just a basic map. I do not recognize the area on that map. So Down here we have DLoad, DBox, and DDrive. So these are downloads, as you can see, downloads. I've downloaded uh, certain Star Trek pictures to see which would work out for best for a background. This is the downloads box. I believe so, D box, but that's not. Okay, that's Dropbox. That's cool because I've downloaded that app, so it must have scanned it. Um, there's Google Docs, Google Sheets, Polaris. Um, Polaris. That's a. Um, uh, it's kind of like um, uh, PowerPoint and all that stuff. There's Office Slides Keep, um, you know, Voice Recorder, and it actually, I just had a random Voice Recorder app. When you click Voice Recorder, watch that, see? It takes you to the Voice Recorder app, which is really cool. Let's see, let's go back here. When we click on Search, it takes us right to our Google Search engine, which is cool because you can also do that too. There's also Voice Speech here, File Explorer. Our rated apps, translate, voice search, Twitter, settings, and more shortcuts. This is how you can get to your settings. But of course, on most, you'd probably just go like this until you got your basis down. You would go up here to the settings. And I also did a video on that of six uh, notification bar secrets. Here's right here is here's a calculator. Awesome. And lock. Now, that's just for simple editing. I'm going to go down here and click edit off. Now let's get out of here. Let's go to primary. Oh, it also shows up here. I forgot to say that. Wi-Fi signal strength. If you, I don't know if I told you about that. When you click on Wi-Fi signal strength, it shows you the network you're connected to. Let's go back to primary. Okay. Right now it shows Play Store. You can click on Play Store, and it'll take you to the Play Store. Because my Play Store was already open, so it brought me to that. But let's go home primary. And here's all the apps installed on my tablet here. And that's all the apps installed here. Let's see. Uh, Minecraft help. So funny. Ah, look, there's a screen recorder I'm using. AZ screen recorder. It's a great screen recorder. Um, yep, so it even shows you here on the app, which is awesome, because I can't remember doing that in the actual stock launcher. Just notifications from up above. But that is cool. Here's a list. Default. List. Name. By name. Uh, 
Whoops, I don't know what I've done. Now what have I done? Okay, here we go, it's back. Tag, and then you can do that. Oops. See, I go and mess up everything. Yeah, I'm still learning how to do it, and you guys will probably get faster than I will. Up here they have Media Tab. Up here in the top. Media Tab. I was listening to the sign out and I go open. It's, that's a widget on the home screen. That's a widget. So this, is, this is your new home screen. Home screen, you press home. And this is, this is just a widget. So, isn't that? I think that's pretty cool. You can also turn on your Bluetooth from right here. These are... Oh, I can't remember what those are. Those are like ads and stuff. Here's viewer editor, Instagram and photos. Since you post images, and this is under media, you can post them to Instagram. So that will be the preferred one here. And Google Photos, Recreation Play Store, Play Games, and Play New Stand. They V Edit. That's not installed. V Edit. PTV. Oh, that's Google Play. That's Play TV. Let's go back up into media. Video, music, and play. Gallery. Which will take you to all your photos. Let's see. Oh, that was my friend there. Okay, let's see. Let's go back up into media. It does take you to the YouTube app, and that'll be take you to internet radio. But you have to have a this certain app. That'll take you to a certain app when that's installed. Let's go to that. Let's go to Q app and Q apps. This is a, this is a nice look, nice looking window done by them. In unlock mode, edit names and launch action of each button to set them for your most used apps. Also, add your favorite widgets here and delete this text and and optionally the graph and delete the delete and delete this text and optionally optionally the graphic for space. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. So maybe if they watch this, they'll see that. Anyway, when we click on the starship, kind of sounds like data data the Android typing really fast, but not as fast. Now all these buttons can be set. It says you cannot open this window in the screen, blah, blah, blah. But I do have this set up. Uh, I don't know how well this is going to look for you guys, but if I go here and I go over my Q apps in this orientation, it says go home right here. So when I click go home, it'll take me to Google Apps. Don't want you to see my address. Oh, that was a fail. Anyway. Anyway, that takes you to go home. And let's see. I think that's it because this is a really awesome map, and this is going to be your. This is going to be your like new home screen. You can always change this. Like I said, primary, and you can always go into here and find your settings app, which is right down here since it's S. And you can change that right back to settings right here. And get out of that. I don't know what I've been doing. Anyway, you can see up here. You can see right up here that my power is running. Away. So I'll have to get back to that. Anyway, oh, look at that. So when you set, you set your tablet down, swipe over, and now look at it. Now it just looks like a Federation Federation tablet. So you swipe over, and boom, you got your whole operating system here. Utilities. Oh, I need utilities. i got to calculate something really quick. And then you can feel you feel like a Star Trek commander when you do this. I'm gonna write down notes. You can open this one it's because it's great for you just going through. <gasps> anyway. File explorer. It might do ES file yep, ES file explorer. ES file explorer is a nice file explorer. It's really nice. Anyway, that's a review for another day. This has been Tech Ethic with a limit with United Federation of Planets tablet home launcher. Thank you guys for watching. Download links will be in the description if you want to download any of the, if you want to download this the, uh, launcher app here for the total launcher that I mentioned, which would look like this. Oh, more shortcuts. You also want to download that too. That link will be in the description. Total launcher here. And the Star Trek launcher. Yep, 5% battery. But both, all links will be in the description if you guys want to download this and get into your Star Trek group. Anyway, it's been Tech Ethics with the Federation. See you guys later.